Mad love for in a bull dizzy. In this video, I want to cover the concept of getting light, crispy, clean vocals using basses and sands. Let us play these vocals without the basses and sands. Then these vocals are gonna come with the basses and sands. So let us play this thing. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. Never. Yeah, I can see you wanna get naughty. I can see you wanna get dirty. Moving bad shit and gonna encore it. Oh yeah, yeah. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never, never. Oh yeah, I can see you wanna get naughty. I can see you wanna get dirty. Moving bad shit and gonna encore it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure you heard those vocals. The second vocals were sounding clean and they were kind of crispy. Yeah, so let me just do this so we can compare these vocals better. This is without the basses, the sands. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. Okay, my vocals are routed to this insect here. Let me bypass this so you can hear the vocals without the basses. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. Never. So the first thing I did, I was kind of inspired and I decided to do this for you guys. The first thing I did, this is the first pass I created. So I'll just do this so you can listen to this pass alone. What this pass send is adding. So we are just adding those reflections to the vocal. Let us listen to that. Yeah, so what I use here on the light reflection reverb, I use the fruity reverb and I kept my decay all the way down there and the delay down there. I rolled off the low end and I didn't roll off the high end because I wanted to, to shine these vocals. When I blend in this pass, these vocals will shine. Then I use the small size of the room. That's the only thing I did. Then I went for the parametric EQ. On the parametric EQ, I'm using a linear phase EQ just to make sure I'm not getting any phase issues. I rolled off here the low end up to 140, 134. Then I boosted the mids a little bit, boosted the high mids and boosted the highs. I was just trying to change the frequency of my reverb to be light. Then I decided to go for the transient processor. On the transient processor, the aim was to introduce some attack and to introduce this knob here just to tuck in the vocals a little bit and remove some background noise. And I got a compressor here where I'm just compressing everything, gluing everything together. So when I blend in this pass, everything is going to be smooth. Yeah, let us listen to this one more time. We can do it, we can do it and now or never. Now or never, never. Oh yeah, I can see you wanna get naughty. I can see you wanna get dirty. Moving bad shit and gonna encore it. Then, the next crispy scent, the next part, the next pass. I call this one the crispy scent, cause I used the TDR Nova, cause I knew I was gonna get some S's. This is a dynamic band where I'm just walling off the S's a little bit between 5K and 10K. So let me just do this again so you can hear what we're getting on that bus. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. So without these plugins here. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. I introduce a DSA. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Then I introduce the EQUO. 
and this preset right here vocal enhancer we can do it we can do it in now and just to add some top end and some some low meets a little bit then i introduced the limits here i use the compression set section just to make sure i'm compressing that sound yeah now let us listen to this sound blended in with the main vocal so this is without it we can do it we can do it in now or never so this is with it we can do it we can do it in now or never now or never never oh yeah i can see you wanna get naughty i can see you wanna get dirty yes sir now moving along we got the crispy two send let me bypass this one so you can hear the send let me also do this this is what i was introducing on the crispy send too let me exaggerate that so what i went for here is a linear phase eq let me just make this thing small i introduced the linear phase eq i just wanted to get the high frequencies from the high mid to the treble yeah i wanted to get that then i follow up this bus with the fruit limiter on the fruit limiter i'm just introducing some hard compression making sure i'm controlling the top end those hash frequencies those top end frequencies are introduced on the parametric eq yes sir you can copy this but i'm gonna leave the link of this template down below you can use it then i got a reverb here this reverb is just helping me to spread out this pass let us listen to that and mind you the decay is not like this <clears throat> if the decay was like this we was not gonna get it right you don't want that you want the decay to be around here then the delay gotta be around here too then here i use the big room my low cuts is around here my high cuts is around here let us listen to that in con in contact with the vocals okay this is without it we can do it we can do it in now or never with it we can do it we can do it in now or never now or never never Yes, sir. Now let us move to crispy three send. On the crispy three send, I'll also do this so you can hear this pass only. We can do it, we can do it in now or never. Now or never. So what I did here, I used the sound godizer, exaggerating this thing using the A. Then I put up the parametric EQ just to control the sound of the sound godizer i didn't want the the low end or the low mids of the sound godizer i only wanted the mids and the high mids i also rolled off some harsh frequencies introduced by the sound godizer here then i added some r and b air here just to give it that air feeling then lastly i got a compressor just compressing my sound godizer bus yeah you can copy these guys yes sir let us listen to that in contact with the uh, lead vocal okay so this is without it sorry this is we can it. do it we can do it in now or never this is with it we can do it we can do it in now or never now or never never oh yeah I can see you wanna get naughty. I can see you wanna get dirty. Let me play the vocals with all the buses. We can do it, we can do it in now or never. 
Now or never, never. Then I decided to add some delay. Yeah, just to top everything up. I'm using this delay, the fruity delay, eight step, ping pong. Then on my delay, I introduced this thing here, a filter, just making sure I'm getting a little bit of those meats and high meats. We can do it, we can do it and now or never. So if you want to keep your delay interesting, you can push it here. After that, you can use the fruity limiter. On your fruit limit, are you gonna go to comp, then go to side chain, then we're gonna side chain this to the vocal chain. After that, we're gonna lower the threshold and lower the ratio until the delay is darking. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never, now or never. Okay, one more time. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. You can also do some other tricks where you put some reverb on your delay. Maybe uh, wash that way reverb. Let me do this and do this and do this. We can do it. We can do it. And now or never. Now or never. Never. Oh yeah. I can see you wanna get naughty. I can see you wanna get dirty. Moving bad shit and gone on core. Oh yeah, yeah. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. Never. Oh yeah. I can see you wanna get naughty. I can see you wanna get dirty. Moving bad shit and gone on core. So. Right now, let me explain the vocal chain. Yeah, this is my vocal chain. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Let me bypass everything. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. Never. We got some auto tune here, the picture from FL Studio. Then I went for the DSR from Waves. Just to control those hash frequencies from 7000k to the top. We can do it, we can do it in now one. Then I got a parametric EQ where I'm just shaping my vocals. We can do it, we can do it in now or never. After the EQ, I follow it up with the transient processor. You already know the deal, just removing some background noise. We can do it, we can do it in now or never. Now or never. Then I got the SSL E channel. On the SSL E channel, I just wanted to introduce the compressor here. And my ratio is a 2. Then I rolled off some high end up to 15. I didn't mess around with the lows here. That's the only thing I did. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Then I got the maximus. Trying to get some mid range. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. Never. This is without it. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. So this thing is just compressing my vocals and tucking my vocals away. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Yeah, then I follow up the chain with the compressor. Just introducing a little bit of compression. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. Stay away from the gain of this compressor. It can introduce some sort of distortion. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. After that, I went for a fruity multiband compressor. You can copy this. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never, never, oh yeah. Then, after that, I got the sound godizer. On the sound godizer, I'm using the A just a little bit, just a little bit of that saturation. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never, 
Now or never. Never. After that, lastly on the chain, it's the L1 limiter. Just making sure I'm chopping those peaks. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. We can do it, we can do it, and now or never. Now or never. Never. Oh yeah. I can see you wanna get naughty. And that's how you can get crispy vocals, guys. I'ma leave the link of this template down below. Medlofa is out. Boom.